Erin, any part of you in disbelief that the season ended like this? Oh, I think, I think every bit of me is, can't believe it ended like this. Um, you know, it's not what we, we wanted, what we imagined. Um, you know, we had an ultimate goal of, you know, getting, getting to a World Series and competing for a World Series and we fell short. And, um, you know, this one's tough, you know, another, you know, another tough loss. And, um, yeah, it just didn't, didn't go our way today. Rolly Rivera, you have a question. Um, hi, Aaron. Obviously, you guys are always very, you know, have a lot of pride in Garrett Cole on the mound and on your offense, and those two things uh, didn't work today. What happened? Why Why is the reason, you know, people are going to point to, you know, Phil Nevin sending you home or, you know, like the home runs, but why was it that the New York Yankees lost this game today? You know, if I knew right now, what I would have, I would have changed. I'd have changed it in the game. You know, I don't, I don't have an answer for that right now. You know, they were the Red Sox were just a better team tonight. Um, you know, they went out there and they put the two spot on us early, and you know, continued to keep the pressure on us, getting guys on base, having good at bats. Um, you know, and then we really weren't able to get anything going really against Evaldi. Um, but um, yeah, I really don't. Oh, like, like I said, they were the better better team tonight. And Aaron, uh, your manager, Aaron Boone, still his contract situation has not been settled. Um, why is Aaron Boone the right manager for your team, and why should you have him back next year? Well, there's a lot of good answers for that, you know, besides, you know, being a great manager and leading this team the past couple of years to, um, you know, being one of the – winning over 100 games, you know, it's – you know, his leadership skills being even keel throughout the whole ups and downs, you know, the good times and bad times of the season, that's, that's a big part of it. You know, when you are the manager of this team and you wear the NY and you wear these pinstripes, it's uh, it's a heavy burden, you know, but, you know, a guy like, like Booney, man, he, you know, wears it with pride, you know, shows up to work every single day, ready to go, you know, gets us prepared the right way, um, keeps us motivated, you know, gets on guys when he needs to. It's uh it's, it's been a pleasure the past couple of years, you know, getting a chance to play for him and fight for him every single day, you know, so uh, I, I can, I can spend all night sitting here with you, you know, giving you reasons why I think he can, why he should be the manager and still be the manager. Um, but he's just, uh, you know, a special person, special coach and um, hoping for more in the future. Uh, Larry, <clears throat> You've played now five full seasons with the Yankees. Does it get more disappointing every year when you don't make it to the World Series? You know, I, I, every, every loss is the same. You know, it's, you know, we didn't end up where we wanted to, and, you know, that hurts. Um, you know, so it's just, you know, it's another stepping stone we got to go through to finally get to our ultimate goal. You know, like, like, you know, we didn't reach where we wanted to go this year. And like you said, the past five years, um, but you can't have the good without the bad. You know, you're going to go through stretches like this. You're going to go through times like this where it's just a terrible day, terrible, you know, we, we just didn't get the job done, you know, all season long. And, uh, you know, you can't have these bad days like this, you know, without the good, you know, so it's just, we got to keep working, you know, things we got to improve on, you know, individually myself and, you know, individually and even as a team, there's a lot of things that we need to continue to work on and continue to improve to, you know, kind of push us to that next level. So it's, um, you know, I guess back to the drawing board. We'll take the next one from Randy Miller. Aaron, a couple of years ago, Mookie Betts was in the same situation as you. Boston did not get anything done. He ends up getting traded. Uh, do you look at this off season? as very crucial to whether you're going to be a Yankee for the rest of your career? I, I guess you can say that, you know, I never haven't been asked that yet. Um, <clears throat> you know, I want to be a Yankee for life. You know, I want to wear these pinstripes the rest of my career and, you know, represent this great organization and bring a championship back to the city. Um, you know, but I, you never know what the future holds for you. You know, that's kind of out of my hands. You know, all I can really do is continue to show up here, continue to try to lead these guys and, 
you know, give all I can for this team and this city every single day. And, you know, whatever <laughs> happens on the flip side of that with contracts and this and that getting traded, it's, you know, it's out of my control, you know, but all I know is, you know, I can control what I can and just continue to bring it and, you know, be a good teammate and, you know, great leader for this team. A lot of guys look forward to free agency. That's their chance to get as much as you can. Why is it important to you to be, to be a Yankee forever? It's just an incredible honor. Uh, you know, no better place to play, no better organization to be a part of based on this history and the, the staff we have, the players here, the players that come through here, you know, and get an opportunity, you know, to go to the postseason every single year. You know, that's, that's something special. Uh, you know, and I've, you know, given a lot, sacrificed a lot, you know, for this team. And, you know, they've sacrificed a lot and given me this opportunity, given me this chance. And, it, um, you know, I want to, you know, I want to bring it home here, you know, but, but like I said, you know, you never know what the, what the future holds for you, you know, so I just got to continue to do what I can to improve as a player and improve as a person. And um, we'll, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Brian, I have another <clears> next question. Hey, Aaron, could we just, uh, could you take us through that play at the plate in the sixth inning and, uh, you know, from your perspective and were you surprised to be sent there? Uh, well, you know, Stan smoked it. Uh, I think that's a home run in 29 of 30 parks. Um, you know, off the bat, I'm trying to get a good jump. You know, I know it's going to ricochet hard. I don't know where it's going to go. I kind of saw it had a bad bounce. Um, I think pass for Dugo, whoever there was out there in left field. And, um, you know, you know, my mindset as a runner is I'm going as hard as I can until I'm, you know, told not to. And, you know, off the bat, you know, I think I got a chance to score, you know, just based on how crazy that wall is and the ricochets you'll get. And, you know, it's got to take a perfect relay, a perfect throw to even, you know, kind of get me and, you know, kind of watch the replay. I saw it was a perfect throw and, you know, right on the money, you know, so. You know, nothing you can really do about that. You know, you got to take chances the postseason. You got to take opportunities. You can't play scared. You can't play afraid. And, you know, when you see an opportunity like that, especially, the, you know, a bad ricochet off the wall, you know, we got to take we got to take chances. You know, that didn't that didn't win or lose this game for us. Um, you know, there's so many different things I can go through, you know, the game that, you know, didn't go right. But, um, you know, I, yeah, I, you know, I'm, I'm trying to score there, you know, and I just – didn't get the job done, didn't get my hand in there in time on the slide, and you know, that's it.